Okay, in this uh, next section of the modified tools, we're going to see if we can get through the remaining four, uh, which are fillet, chamfer, splitting a solid, and hollowing one out. And so I have four uh, boxes here uh, that we can we can use as examples of each of these. So the first one is fillet, and what happens with fillet? I'm going to go ahead and click on it, and when you click on the edge of an object for filleting, you get presented with this arrow that says how far do you want to fillet the edge. And this is similar to an earlier video where we were filleting a flat surface. In this case, we get to fillet an actual three-dimensional object. Okay, and that's, that's pretty simple. That's what it is. And you can see the radius is written down here. Okay. The next one is chamfer. Chamfer is similar to fillet in the sense that you're modifying an edge. But in this case, it's a flat, it's a flat modifier. Okay? So that is fillet and chamfer. Okay? The next one is splitting a solid. So we earlier we looked at splitting a face. This next one does a similar process, but actually splits the entire uh, body of the object. So I'm going to come back up here, like I did in the earlier example, and I'm going to create a polygon on the edge of or I'm sorry, on the face of this object here. There we go. And check to confirm. And now I will select split solid. And so this time it'll ask me again for what is the object that I'm going to split. And then what is the splitting entity? That's right there. And now you'll notice in this case, it, it, it shows it as cutting through the entire object. Okay. I hit return, and that now splits this body up such that I can pull these two things apart. And now they become separate objects but, but can fit together. And this is really something that if you were making a puzzle for 3D uh, printing, this might be a, a good way to go ahead and do that, some sort of interlocking puzzle or interlocking box. Okay. And the last tool in the Modify suite is Hollow. And so I'm going to click on that, and it's going to present me at the bottom. You can see here how thick the um, distance should be and the direction. And so I'm going to click on, uh, sorry, one more time. Uh, click on shell and then click on the face here. And notice when I click through it, first of all, that I can, I'm given the option to modify right here. And I don't know if you can see it, but at the bottom, my numbers are changing in terms of thickness and size. So I'm just going to set it at three right there. And I click away. And now I've got a hollowed out box. And that's really great if you're doing something that uh, will eventually be something that's printed out and maybe has a cover on it or something like that.